In this video, we will learn more about how we can mark with more advanced way. So, good luck and have fun. Okay, so here we want to learn more about adding markers. If I want to add another marker right here, we can copy this one and paste it here. So, now we can create a new one like we can get from the Zagreb. Make it like that here. We can make it for the uh, lat of this one and for LNG to be for this one and then we can see what we have right here and we got it here for Zagreb but we want to be more smarter than that do I need to add this sign for each one I want to add of course not we need to be smarter and use the JavaScript that we learn it in a different way. What we can do here, we can comment this part to add a new thing right here. No, I don't need that. Okay, and what we will do here, we will add a function and then the function will be called each time I add an address. So we can add a function and call it, let's call it something like uh, add marker. So let's make a function and call it add marker up in the bracket and we, we need a parameter right here because we will use several locations okay just like that and then we can make a variable and call it marker which is equal to google dot maps dot marker and then we will choose from here the position to be for the prop dot coordinates that we will type inside the function when I call it pack and then I want the map that I want to display this location on to be the map the variable of that map so make sure if you got on another name for this variable to be displayed in for this one right here instead of this map okay so this is good and what we will do right here we will call the function several times so to call the function we will make add marker and let's make it equal to properties but we need to make something instead of properties so we can get this from here copy this one and make it here but already uh we, we need all of that so we can make it like that here we can make this one and make coordinates and like that and then we can save and see what we have on the screen when we go i think it was zagreb no we got a problem with this part so we want to check out the problem okay okay so let's search for the problem of this part right here the coordinates okay what is the problem that i call pack coordinates okay let's search on the map do we have any marker no we don't have so there's a problem with this part and marker the properties the variable of the marker coordinates okay is this the same yes we didn't type new right here so let's see what we have now so here we got it on japan and this is working perfect okay and then right here we want to add for the content so let's make it for the content we can add a comma after this part and add content and the content right here content this one will be for Tokyo okay and then after this part we will go right here and in case if we have content I want to display it but if I don't have content I don't want to display it so here we can add if condition if prop dot content is true so I want to do something what I want to do here is to add var and let's call it info window 
and make it equal to the new Google dot maps and all of that is included inside the documentation of the Google dot info window. This info window must be the same as the what we typed here. So here we will make it like that and then we will make the content to be equal to crop dot content. And then I want to do something right here also. When I click on the marker, I want the info to appear. So we will make marker. In this case, we will use add listener instead of add event listener. Listener. We can make add event listener if you want. And a function. We don't need parameters right here because we already got our one here. Okay, so now we want to make for the intro window dot open. I will open for the map and the marker and else console log. No, or we can make an alert. Alert. So let's see what we have on the screen when we do that. Let's try to click here. So here we got Tokyo. Let's try uh, to add in another one without the content. Okay. So let's call this content for Zagreb or deleted to test without the content. The Zagreb right here. We will copy this one for the north. And this one for the east. Just like that. And go back here. No, so here we don't got one. And let's try here to click on Zagreb. So it doesn't work? Yeah, because we don't have the event listener. So we can make it like that. Copy. And paste it here. So we are waiting this to be reloaded and then we can go back to click on the Zagreb. So it tells me no, it doesn't have. So we can just add instead of this content, we can add for this location doesn't have a content or just content. Let's try this now. Okay, just like that. So we got here for the Tokyo and this one, this location doesn't have content. Okay, and this is perfect and we did a lot with this part. What we want to do as next is to make it in a different way. We want to make, we want to be smarter and do not use this one. There's a property that we can use which is the array. If you are familiar with this one and this is easier for you, you can choose this one and use it. But in the next video, we will talk about another way that we can display instead of this one. So, good luck and have fun. And welcome back. Now we will do a different thing right here. And what we will do right here is to add an array instead of all of that. So, what we just will do right here, we can comment this part from here to here. Because it will be replaced as an array. So let's make an array right here and let's call it uh, places or locations. And then open the array. And let's make the first element of the array contains coordinates, coordinates, and then Let's make this one for the Tokyo so we can just copy this from here and paste it here. And the second one will be for the content. So we can make the content right here. Content to be for the Tokyo. Okay, and then we can add in another one right here. 
Okay. We can just copy this one and sorry. Pay copy and paste. And we will change the latitude and also the longitude. Okay. And this one we will make it for the what happened? Uh, did we make something wrong? Yes, I think so. Copy and paste. This was 15. And this one was backward. And what we will what we want to do here is to recall the add marker for each one inside. So what we can do for this part right here is to make a for loop that we learned before for variable i equals zero and the variable in this i is smaller than the locations dot length so i want to hear i plus plus so when the location is greater than or equal to i the function will stop and that's actually what i do right here when the i is equal to the locations dot length i don't have more locations so i want to stop the i okay so what we will do here is to make for the add marker and i will add for the locations for each i so for each i so let's see what we have on the screen right here so we got for japan and hopefully for the zagreb let's try another one here uh we can call it for california California and we can add a comma right here don't forget the comma otherwise it will not work copy and paste okay so make this one for the north this for the west and let's leave the content empty and see what we have now when I click on the California we got for South Korea, I don't know why it gives a different position, a different location, but it's okay. We can make it another one right here. We can click here. So the cushion doesn't have content. If I click on Japan, we got for the Tokyo. If I click on the Zagreb, I got the Zagreb. Let's try to put a negative right here, a negative. So here, I hope we can find it inside the US. So here it's inside the US. So this was the problem. If it twist, we will add a negative. Okay, so this works and we got no problem with it. I want to add something right here, a property. When I click on the map, I want to add a location. So let's do that. We can make it at the top right here. And we can make it inside. So let's add a comment right here, or we can make it here. Adding marker on click. Okay, so let's do that. What we want to do here is to, when I click on the map, so we can make Google dot maps dot map dot event sorry event dot add listener this one is equivalent to add event listener so you can add add event listener or event so after this part we will make for the map click and here i want something to happen which is function of event because we will have a different parameters event or e or anything we want we can make it just e because i think we used event right here okay and then what we will do after this part is add marker so we can add marker and then we will make it for the uh, like that coordinates event dot lat ng 
So let's see what we have on the screen right now. When I click, okay, yeah, it doesn't work. I think we got a problem with this part and we need to search for it. Yeah, it's E, not event. I forgot about it. So let's try now to see what we got on the screen and now it is working. Okay, the last step that we need to do is how we can detect our location right now and that's what we will do but in the next video. Good luck and have fun. So now we want to talk about the new thing right here, how I can detect my location. So what I want to do here is to inside, inside this function also, I will make window dot add event listener and this one will be for the load so when i load the page i wanna with empty parameters up in the bracket and here we can make let long and let let and here if navigator navigate navigator dot geographic location if it's true i want to do something so here navigator dot geolocation or we can just use the console look first to see what we have on the screen so but first geolocation dot get current position let's call it a reference a reference position so for this one i want a function open the bracket and let's make console log for the reference position okay so it tells me for the access to the to the location and then we can make the console log right here so it gives you here the geometric location with the latitude and for the longitude what we want to do right here is to get which is exporting the uh, latitude and the longitude and import them to here so what we will do right here is to make long equal to position as you can see it's inside the coordinates so here sorry this one is the reference reference position not like that like that and then inside the chords and I want here the longitude and for the latitude we will copy this one is it a constant no property okay let latitude okay so and then what we will uh, what we want to do here is to make for this part we will copy this part right here where 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 add marker so we will get for the add marker and paste it here what's the problem with this part do we have a problem okay okay it tells me we get a problem but it's okay right now we can see very soon okay so do we use this before yes yes so let's make this lat this long do we have a problem right now so what's the problem with this part encode event is not defined okay so let's keep going and then we can see what happened okay and then after the add event as you can see from here we can make it this way copy and paste and for this one it will be for the let's make this one let this one long the let right here will be for this let and this one be will be for the long so yeah i hope we have no problem right here so okay it's not working so we want to search for the problem right here let's open the console log and see what's the problem with this part add marker is not defined 
So I think we typed it in the wrong way and I hope this is just the problem. Okay, so what's the problem again? Allow. Do we have any problem? No, now it's working. And we got no problem with this part and it's already working with all the locations. And that's all about this project. 